Penn State has at Iowa, Michigan at home, and at Michigan State the next three weeks. You've been in that type of situation where it's three really tough ones in a row. How have you handled the team's emotions, psychological game plan? Tell us about that. Well, my right-hand man was our strength coach, which I'm sure everybody deals with their strength coach, especially nowadays, because safety and health of players are number one by far. And I would always lay out, I'd come in on Sunday, and my director of ops would lay down three practice schedules. I'd always have the 2014 season, and then I'd pick the other, the last year. And then if there was other year that was similar, for example, where was our bye week? Was it the three tough games like that in a row? And I'd want, he'd have them laying out for me. I would just stare at their practice schedules. I'd sit with our strength coach, he'd sit right across and we'd talk about health of our team, the energy, you know, are we a mature team, do we need the practice, or are we one of those veteran teams? I had something called a 2,000 rep club. So if you, Jerry, played for me and you started for two years, that's 2,000 competitive reps, your body's not meant to take much more than that. So I would practice him much lesser than a, than a Wyatt Davis or Josh Myers, two young offense linemen for Ohio State that don't have that. So a lot of this practice schedule, you know, I didn't just say use this one because you can't use that one. How is that team different than this team? Right. And that's where our strength coach would really help me. Our job was one Saturday at noon, Saturday at 3.30 or Saturday at 7. They feel great. And that's our job. Well, with the schedule Penn State's about to start, uh, the one thing they're going to definitely need is a good defense. And I believe you think they have a very good defense. And the one thing about Penn State, they always play great defense. They always do. And I think they're very well coached. But look at the athletes on the field. So let's talk about leverage. I know you love talking about this as well. It's gap control defense. Watch number 12. Number 12 actually loses leverage for a second, but he's so well coached. Watch him fight to get yes, that right arm free. It's unbelievable. That's excellent. I know. Watch number 99. Number 99 fills his gap. He forces the tailback to do what? To bounce to 12. It's very well coordinated, great effort on defense. I'm telling you, Penn State's playing at a very high level right now. You know, I'm not an expert in everybody's coverages in the conference, but just the, the little bit I've watched everybody, they seem to have more multiple coverages. What are they doing here? Okay, this was uh, two Tampa, which the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, that's where it started. And so two Tampa, you can see the middle linebacker getting depth. It actually turns into a three deep structure because of safety in traditional cover two, he doesn't have the middle linebacker running down the middle of the field. So he's got to stay near the hash. Right. And two Tampa, he can come way off the hash. Why does he not have to worry about the middle of the field? The middle linebacker. linebacker. Yeah, right. that's what two Tampa is. Let's see what else they're doing on defense that I, I think I don't see a lot of pe other people doing it. Okay, here's a good look, Jerry. Here, here, they're showing a cover two look. So this looks exactly like the defense you saw prior to, mm -hmm. two Tampa. And you can see right here, right before the snap, they're starting to move and they're bringing the pressure from the top. Okay, this is a blitz. It's called a zone blitz. They're playing zone coverage behind it. We call this three fire or three zone, three fire zone. Fire means what? That means they're bringing five rushers instead of four. And fire zone means there's only three deep, three under. One more coverage that you don't see a lot of is zero coverage. Pure man, uh, unless, you're, unless you're bringing pressure. So we've seen two Tampa, we've seen three fire zone, right. and now we're seeing something you don't see very often. This is actually zero. Zero means there's no safety help, and everybody's within six yards, straight man-to-man -man coverage. This is very high risk, very high reward. You can see they're getting after them, bringing pressure. They're only bringing five, so it's actually zero hole. Number 11 is a hole player. Okay. Five man pressure, zero coverage across the board, and just a different look for the quarterback to prepare for.